Buses carrying hundreds of people left the camps in Cox's Bazar, bound for the island of Bashan Char. Nearly one million Rohingya Muslims have been living in squalid camps in southeast Bangladesh after fleeing violence in Myanmar. They're refusing to return without guarantees for their safety and rights. Dandy Chowdhury is in Cox's Bazaar. He says many refugees are concerned about a lack of facilities on the island. Why suddenly take 100,000 people to an isolated island, which is a 50 kilometer coast of Bangladesh, which is prone to cyclone, tidal wave? The government will say we spent 280 million, we built embankment, there's clusters of villages, cyclone shelters, and hospitals. Although there's school missing, which is one of the primary uh, uh, reasons the uh, Rohingya refugees are really concerned about, because there's no formal education either in the camp or in that island. Now, talking to a lot of the Rohingyas, many of them said they're really not interested, despite having all the infrastructure facilities. Uh, the government said there'll be farming, there'll be domesticated animals, they could uh, deer as a livestock farming, they could go fishing and other stuff. They said they feel comfortable here because they can visit camp to camp, their extended families here, they're close to their homeland. You can see the several kilometers away behind me is Myanmar. There's a sense of belonging here, even the regional people here speak their dialogue, they can communicate more or less in the same language. So that sense of belonging, a psychological factor. They don't want to be isolated far away in a coastal island which they don't know nothing about. But the government is determined they're going to take phase by phase, probably will take months to uh, relocate these 100,000 people in that island.